Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer is trying to create an array of specific files in a directory, but they're running into some hurdles with the fs.readdeer method. Let's dive into their question and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. To create an array of specific files in a directory, we can use the fs.readdeer method. However, since it doesn't return a promise, we need to permissify it first. Next, we will define an empty array to hold the files that meet our criteria. This array will be populated later in our code. Now we can call fs.readdarasync to read the directory contents. This method returns a promise, allowing us to chain a then method to handle the files. Inside the .then method, we will loop through each file. For each file, we will check if it is a directory using fs.stat. If it's not a directory, we will push it to our array. Finally, after processing all files, we can log the array to see the specific files we have collected. This will be done in another then method. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The user found a solution by using statsync instead of stat. This allows them to check if each file is a directory synchronously. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Node.js version 10 and above, you can use the fs.promises API to read directories. This allows you to chain the readdeer method with a dot then to handle the results. code snippet demonstrates how to create an array of files by checking if each item is not a directory. If it's a file, it's pushed into the array. Finally, after processing all files, you can log the array to see the results. This approach effectively combines asynchronous file reading with promise chaining. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. You can use ES6 destructuring to easily read files from a directory. Here's a simple example. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To use a promise with fs.readdeer, you can permissify the fs module. This allows you to work with promises instead of callbacks.
For more details on permissifying, check out the Bluebird documentation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Have you considered using the FS Extra module? It's a great alternative for file system operations in Node.js. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.